In this video, I'll be going over how to download and install the UFO mod by VSN. First, you need to go to VSN's Discord server. I have the link in the description of this video. Once you're in their Discord server, you'll see the channels on the left. You need to scroll down until you see the UFO channel and you need to click on it. The last post here will be the link to download it. You just click this link. The site's going to be in German. Don't worry about it. It's not a virus. Here you're going to wait a couple seconds and then it will give you the download link. Once you see this, you can click to download. Then click this. After it's downloaded, you need to open your file explorer. To find your file explorer, just click the Windows key on your keyboard. Then type file and you can see file explorer, just click on it. On the left side, there should be a downloads folder that's pinned by default. You can click on that and then you can see your zip file with the UFO. If you don't see the downloads folder, then here's how you find it. First, click on the drive that has Windows installed on it. By default, it should be the C drive, but if you're not sure, um, if you look at your drives here, you can see the one with the Windows symbol is the one that has Windows installed. Click on that drive and scroll down to where it says Users and double click on Users. Then find your user, click on it. Then you can see your Downloads folder. We're going to need this file, so I'm going to copy it because I'm going to paste it later. So to copy it, I'm going to click on it with my mouse once. Then I'm going to hold left control on my keyboard and I'm going to click C. Now I have this file copied. Next, I need to find the Saved Games DCS folder. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you how to get to it. First, go back to your drive that has Windows installed, then go back to Users here, then go to your user, and scroll down until you see Saved Games. Inside the Saved Games folder, you should see your DCS file here, and inside that, there should be a folder that says Mods. If you don't see a Mods folder, you need to make one. To make a folder, you right-click anywhere in the File Explorer, you click Show More Options, then you hover over New, and then click Folder. Then you need to make a name for the folder, just call it Mods. Okay, so go inside your Mods folder, and then there should be a folder called Aircraft. If you don't have a folder called Aircraft, just make it yourself, um, the same way that I showed you how to make the Mods folder. Once you open the Airplane folder, you need to paste that zip file into here. You're going to hold left control on your keyboard and click V. Then you need to extract the zip file. To extract it, you first click on it, then you right click, and you click Extract All. It'll bring up this menu, just click Extract. If it pops up a new folder, just delete it. You can see now we have two folders in here. We have the original zip file that we, cut, that we pasted in, and then we have this new one. You're gonna delete the original zip file because we don't need it anymore. Then you double click to open this new one, and you can see here this folder, VSN UFO, that's our UFO. What you need to do is you need to click on it and you need to copy this, left control and C. Then click here to go back to your aircraft folder. Then click anywhere in the file explorer. And then you can hold control and click V to paste it in. I'm not going to do it because I have already done it. So you can see I already have my UFO here. Once you've pasted it in, then you can take this folder you have here with the long name and you can click on it and click delete on your keyboard to get rid of it. In order to check that it was installed properly, you can click this square at the top of your DCS. Click installed and scroll to the bottom. And if you see VSN UFO at the bottom and you have the green circle here, that means that it's installed and ready to go. If it didn't work, then just try it again and make sure you follow the steps in this video exactly as I explained them. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you later.